Jordan was filling his sack full of Christmas presents and goodies for a show called Get Your Own Back! <laughs> yes! Yes! I like that one as well. And welcome to this, a very, very special Christmas edition of Get Your Own Back. Yes, where we've got some celebrity guests who are going to get gunned. Let's go and meet them now as we play Round One! Round one is the brain box round. This is where we get to test the brain power of our celebrity chumps. So will you please welcome the Reds? Here you come! <laughs> come on, hello! <laughs> right, and you are? Gavin Douglas from Sheffield. Hello there, Gavin Douglas from Sheffield. Now, I've got a few things I'm going to ask you before we get on with the rest of this. Now, apparently, you love playing around with remote control cars. That's right. How many do you have? Three. You have three remote control cars? Yeah. Enough said. Right, now I'm turning to this lady I'm here. not happy with Gavin. Oh, no. Oh, right. Well, here we go. Listen, Philippa, what's your name, Philippa? Philippa. Oh, that's good. Yes, now, Philippa... what a surprise it was. And, yes, mm. and what do you do for a living, Philippa? Um, well, I present Children's BBC. Yeah! Precisely. And you have a wonderful hobby. It says here that you love collecting old children's mm, books. I do, actually, and I've run out of bookshelves. Really? Because I that? love them so much. You've got that many, have you? I have. Wow. Now, I'm going to ask you, Gavin, why do you want to get your own back on Philippa? Yeah, why do you want to get your own back on Philippa? Because you're grinning all the time, constantly. <laughs> Look at that there. <laughs> Who's inside all that wrapping? Yes, that's Toby, my co-presenter. Anyway, listen, what I want you to do is, Philippa, yes, come yes. with me. Stand behind me. What I'd like you to do, Gavin, is to choose a category of questions for Philippa to answer by ringing that bell! <laughs> And what a festive Christmas sound that was. What is it? What is and it? And the subject is wildlife. So, Gavin, please go to the mangle very, very quickly. And remember what you have to do. You have to slide down at all costs. Please come with me, madam. And I tell don't me, what, what's your knowledge on wildlife like? Oh, fair. <laughs> I do. I watch wildlife on one on the other occasion. Well, that's OK. Hopefully, it'll stand you in good stead for what is about to happen. We would like you to, as neatly as possible, wrap as many of these Christmas presents and get them through the mangle. We're going to find out how many of these you can do, Philippa, inside of a minute. Okay. Your questions start now. What are baby kangaroos called? Um... Roos. No, Joey's. Oh. What what do trees and elephants have in common? Um, trees and elephants both have trunks. Trunks is right, go! Go, go on! You have a pretty of his home, man! Go! Go on, Philippa! He's going through that mangle! Totally disoriented! So right, you've got to wrap them up, Nick! <laughs> right, here we go. Arachnophobia is a fear of what? Uh, spiders. Spiders is right, go! Wrap them up! But the thing is, I'm going to deduct five bonus points because you hardly used your sellotape. So, therefore, you have a maximum score of 35 points. Yeah! Now it's time to meet our next challenger and celebrity chump. They are the Yellows. Yeah! Honey! Yeah! Honey! Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah! Right, and you are? Katie Bishop. Ah, uh, Katie Bishop, where are you from? Birmingham. Aha, uh -huh, you're from Birmingham. And according to this, you love, as a very interesting hobby, scribbling all over your English book. Now, how come you like doing that? Because I hate English. Oh, dear. So you just scribble all over it instead? Yeah. Oh, boy, that's wild. Now I'm going to turn to your partner in crime. And you are John Eccleston. Hi, Shirley and Dave. OK, I now... On a Wednesday, then. <laughs> now, apparently, you like eating lots and sleeping on locations. I certainly do, yes, yes. I have a very extensive duvet collection, <laughs> which is covered in custard and... Crumbs and things. Right? Well, as you can see, we're just going to have a wild time with these. Now, I'm going to ask you, why do you want to get your own back on John here? Well, one is left Disney Club, and that was one of my favourite programmes. Crawler. Oh, what? And, and what's the next one? The second one is because his best friends are creepy crawlies like spiders and lizards and. Is this true? Like that. So, yes, it is. Oh, yes! Oh, yes. Wow. I'm it's a, a spider! Okay. Right, what I'd like you to do is to choose a category of questions for John to answer by ringing that bell. Go on, give it a good one. <laughs> Yes, and again, another festive sound. And the subject matter is the world. So the please world. go to the oh, mangle. Good. 
That's it. Over to the mango. And remember, at all costs, slow John down. John, tell me. The world. Me. I mean, that's a bit. Uh, what kind of category is that? Well, it's a very large. Do you, think do you narrow it, it down. Yeah, think of it as geography, mate. Oh right, geography. Yeah, so there you go, geography. And what okay. we'd like you to do, whilst answering questions on the world, we'd like you to make Christmas crackers like this. Give it a pull. Like this. Give it a pull. Right. Oh, Lovely. very nice. Oh yes, yes, very nice. And then there, there's something for me to wear. Now the thing is, we'd like you to do that. Like this. Look, doesn't that fit me? Isn't it does. Nice? It suits you. We'd like you to answer questions on the world whilst making all of these wonderful Christmas crackers. You Your minute starts now. Which Mediterranean country is also a bird? Oh, it's also... Oh, um, I uh, New Zealand? No. I don't know. No idea. Go Turkey. On. Turkey. Juan Carlos is the king of which country? Oh, Spain. Spain's right. Go! Oh, right. Oh, right. <laughs> World were there? Um, oh, seven. Seven's right. Yes. Go, 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 go! Oh, I don't believe this. Go, oh, look at this. Wow. Do your Christmas crackers look like this? No. Okay. Which South American country is also a nut? It's a Brazil. Brazil is right, but unfortunately you don't get that. You've got to stay uh, here. I'm going to find out how you've done. Well, that's 20 points there for two correct answer questions and two Christmas crackers on the table. That's 10 bonus points, giving you a total of 30 points. Yeah! So let's find out what the festive scores are after round one. Well, John of the Yellows has scored 30 points and Philippa of the Reds has scored an amazing 35 points. Yeah! But, but will they still be able to keep that lead up as we now approach round two? Christmas Chumps Challenge is the Lucky Dip Race, and this is how it goes. The chump has to start from here. When I say go, they crawl through the tunnel. Once out of the tunnel, they jump into the ball pond, then out of the ball pond and towards this big barrel, which is filled with our best quality Christmas gunge. Now, the whole thing about this is that each prize in there has points of different value, the highest points being 25. Once they get one of these, they then run back to the start and place it on the table and so on. But just to make things a little bit more difficult, we have our challenger who is armed with the most lethal of flans. And it's up to them to fling the flans and slow the grown-ups down as much as they can. They have one minute in which to do this particular stunt. John is to start. He's training behind by five points, so you really do need to do this very, very well indeed. Thank you so much. It's all right. OK, then on your box. Yes. Get set. Oh, yes. Go. Right. Oh, there you go. Whoa. That's it. He's in there somewhere. That's brilliant. Into the ball pond. Out of the ball pond. That's it. Big that flag. Big that flag. That's it for the ball. Oh. No. No. Just run back. Run. 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 Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Big this man going. What a. What a mover. And that's, here we go, 25, 25 points 25. and 15. We're giving you a total, John, yes. of 40 points. Hurrah! 40 points! Well, now it's the turn of the Reds to have a go. Philippa's in the lead of the Reds at the moment. So, on your marks. No, I don't want to do it. Oh, too tough. <laughs> tough, you've got to do it. On your marks. Yes. Get set. OK. Go! Ah! That's it. Go on. Go on. Give it your word. Go on. Oh, yes, you. That's it. In the ball park. Come <laughs> on. 
get this. You have got, here we are, teddy bears worth 20 and the plane's worth 15, giving you a huge score of 35 points. Yeah. Let's have a look at the scores after round two. Jonathan the Yellows has scored 70 points and Philippa of the Reds has also scored 70 points, so therefore we have a tie break situation. <laughs> so I'm going to ask the chumps here a tie break question. First one to answer gets this amazing key to freedom <sighs> and also gets to be gunge free. Hurrah. So here we go. What does ET stand for? Extraterrestrial. Extraterrestrial is right! <laughs> You've all it right! That means, yes, John, you get that key to freedom, John. You also get yourself a clever clock certificate and you don't have to go anywhere near this line. <laughs> As you can tell, he's <laughs> really delighted. Now, yeah, listen. I'm quite sad, really. But listen, you didn't quite get your own back, but you got this far. Thank you very much. Oh. But you also do get to take away with you a get your own backpack, which contains trainers, a get your own back t shirt, and also this week's special prize, which are the videos of Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3, and also the big weepy ET. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Enjoy your freedom. Go on, enjoy bye, your freedom. Man. Bye, bye. <laughs> Because no, hey, don't wave too much. I'll tell you why, Philippa. Because it's that time where we take that ghostly train ride towards I the like gunk it. dunk. <laughs> and what a way to end this series. As you can see here, Philippa Forrester is all set for a flop <laughs> in me plop. I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and if you get five of the questions right in under 45 seconds, lighting the pumpkins you will lock out the drop mechanism that will save you from falling into this and you will operate the vat of slime above young Gavin's head, giving him a real uh, face uh, <laughs> So I'm going to ask you some really, really obvious questions that have obvious answers that begin with the letter M. But unfortunately, the answers that you give me cannot begin with that letter. Right. OK? <laughs> Your 45 seconds, Philippa, starts now. Which month follows April? The one before June. Good. In the cartoon series Tom and Jerry, Tom is a cat and Jerry is what? A rodent. Good, I'll have that. Lipstick, eyeliner, mascara are all types of? Cosmetics. Cosmetics is right. What number is written as one and six noughts? A thousand thousand? <laughs> OK, yes, I'll have that. What do you call the growth which grows on a man's upper lip? Um. Yeah, all right then. Air, air, I'll take that. That's it! Unbelievable! Oh, Gavin, what can I say? Probably the stuff. This being Philippa Forrester, you get your, get your own back trophy. But the thing is, though, we can't let you accept it looking as dry as that, can we? Three, two, one, go! quite get your own back, but we are going to give you a get your own backpack which contains loads of goodies plus this very special prize. Be the envy of all your skating friends everywhere with a really fast moving hip looking set of inliners. Yeah. So there you go. That concludes it for this year's session of get your own back. And remember, if you've got a grown up that gets on your nerves, write into the BBC and get us on get your own back. It's going to be great. Thanks a lot.